All right, Simon. Um, so looking at your stuff, the first thing I would tell you right off the bat is that I think you've got like the colors down. I think that you've got, you know, kind of those elements down. But the big thing that I would work on is some of the, the fundamentals. So when you do a pose like this, um, you can definitely see that the anatomy is off. Um, and so looking at this, I'm just going to grab, I'm going to just grab my, my charcoal brush here. And um, the first thing I see is that your head is kind of off proportion. Um, it's a little bit small for the body. The, the, the shoulders don't feel like they, they're attached, like it doesn't feel centered, it doesn't feel properly kind of attached. Um, you know, think about blocking out your figure first. And so, you know, look at it from a standpoint of, I just grab, uh, I like this brush better for sketching. Yeah. Um, so grab this, you know, and start blocking out your initial pose. And so, like you can see here that I'm blocking out the hips and I just kind of create a bell curve, uh, like a kind of an alien face for the hips. But you can see here that the hips are are kind of angled now, okay? So here's the center point, here's the stomach, and here's down. And so do you see how like you're, you're kind of, everything's a little bit off. And that's, I think what you're struggling with is how you're holding things. And this arm doesn't feel like it's being held naturally. Um, and so what I would do is, you know, start just blocking out those forms. Like this knee here, this leg here, um, because the hip is turned, it's going to come back here a lot more. And then kneecap, and then like so, and then like this. So your feet are planted a little bit more centered. And then this one like you're you're almost like in that mid turn so i would tell you this one here is the knee is more facing the the person and then you've got the the striation like so and so do you see how let's point that that foot a little bit towards this and then you've got shoulders so this shoulder comes out more like this with a more foreshortening on it, okay? It's not so much in your face as that goes. And then you're not holding this bow right. Like if you're holding the bow like this, you know, try and do it with your actual arm. You, you're already starting to feel that this is com uncomfortable. What you have to do is put the hand backwards like so and so you're you're actually holding that forward because then when you lift up your your hands in the right position this way you'd have to twist the bow 180 to to get that properly and this is why every artist uses photo reference um, even if it's yourself just to get you kind of the natural feel of that pose um, you know so this with the arm bent out a little bit more feels a little bit stronger um, and then the arrow would be more uh, would be would be changed up and then again change up your breasts um, this is a little bit more sideways this is this is in the right position but it's kind of not need some anatomy fixes um, and so these are the major adjustments so if I if I go through and I start blocking out like this from that standpoint and that's my first first block out here then what I'm going to do is on top of that is start developing a tighter more relationship so you can see here um, that the shoulders are coming more forward and so you'd have what I would do is I would draw kind of a triangle like this for the breast and then draw a stick along the shoulders so like so so this comes more like this and this kind of kind of cuts off like that so you're, you're changing up those elements a little bit more um, you know pay attention to 
the way your things work as far as from an enemy standpoint. I think the painting is fine. I think you just need to build your little bit more construction in there. And the same thing goes here. Um, you know, you've got this coming on and it just feels very flat and very kind of like this one has feels like it has more depth, but this one feels like it's really flat. So the nose would pop out a little bit more. Um, you know, think about think about angles. And again, use maquette. Use a little bit of 3D. It doesn't doesn't matter what it is, but you know, plot out your stuff a little bit more. And I think that'll kind of solidify your 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 feelings a little bit more. Okay, I hope that helps.